Okay, um, hold on a sec. Okay, so um, in order to draw a sample, like an elaborate sample, with Sunvox, you uh, double click inside the module area right in here, and you would select the sampler module. Hold down shift, it'll let you, uh, there's, an, there's a way to uh, connect it, but I think this is the faster way. Hold down shift, and you drag the line to your output so you can be able to hear it whenever you play the sample. That's the only way you can be able to hear things in Sunvox if, if things are connected through the output. And then the module properties. So when you have when you have out when you don't have the sample um, clicked, you can't see the property. So make sure you have it clicked. It'll be there for sure. Whenever you uh, made the uh, module, so don't worry. When you click edit, um, click the samples button. You make the window bigger, and um, in this spot on here for the sampler, it's like a little menu button. You click new. 16-bit would be the prefer preferred format. In mono, if you just want to make one tone, and if we're going to draw a tone, it'll be nicer if we just use mono, because if you're drawing with um, stereo, you'll have two waveforms to play with. So mono, and with this, um, sample size for 256 is pretty small, so you're going to have to be you're going to have to loop the uh, sample. And I'll show you a little bit later. And uh, the sampling frequency is fine. That's that's kind of that's pretty much the standard for making a tone, or that's a standard for many audio formats when you're listening to stuff. Anyway, so we have in here. This is where our sample would be. You can't see anything. You can't see a wave because you got to draw it first. So right now it's just a flat line. So right click. And right here it says paint mode on and off. We now got a a little thing right here for canvassing or something. I don't know how to explain it. But anyway, when you click in the area, you'll be able to uh, make your wave. So let's see. I have a tablet on me, so I'm able to smooth it out if I wanted to. Now when I play it, it's just gonna, you're just gonna hear like a very fast sample be played. You can barely hear it. So, um, what you wanna do is right click, turn off the paint mode, and right here, you'll see loop on, off, or palmed. So, with on, you'll be, able, you have these flags right here to uh, mark the beginning of the sample and the ending of it. So, if you want to make a looping sample, put them on each side. So, now that we have our sample that can loop, let's hear it. Okay, now you can definitely hear it instead of that little click. Um, if you want to have it playing automatically while you're drawing the sample, go to this column right here press space so you can enable the editing make sure you have your sampler select it and press any note you want delete that and we have d5 that's a note we have going on i think the standard is c5 for like the normal tone so i'm having it on c5 so um Press space to disable the editing, and you can play your pattern now. So while it's on, go to paint mode again, and you can draw it while the sample is being played. Make a square wave, draw a square wave if you want. I think it'll be best if you start in the middle. Triangle wave. Step 
more smoother that way. As long as the two ends are meeting. Anyway, that's pretty much it. If you want the sample to be longer, um, you just make a new sample again. It'll erase this one, I think. But make your sample size bigger, something like 5,000. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thank you.